What's up YouTube? For today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a blurry mid fade step by step. This is the cut breakdown. So step number one, we wanna set our first guideline, bald it out, then blend that line out to get this end result right here. This is a super blurry mid fade guys. I'm gonna break down every single step that I did in this haircut. So step number one, identify the occipital bone, which is the bone that protrudes from the back of the head that I just pointed out right there. And then the next step is to identify the corner of his hairline where his hairline starts the temple of the head whatever wh whatever you guys um terminology you guys want to use just make sure it's right there at the corner of his hairline and we're going to dip it down towards the back of his occipital bone and after that make sure you guys use a very soft touch when you guys are applying uh pressure with your trimmers and just take down the bulk so we can get ready to shave on the next step So now that you guys have deep bulked the hair, the next step is to just, dub just double check guys on your guideline, make sure that everything is nice and crisp. You guys can see the flow of the guideline from the corner of his hairline, dip down towards his occipital bone. And now we're gonna shave that region, but we're gonna give ourselves about half a finger of room on top. You, you don't wanna use your shaver all the way towards the top of the guideline because that's gonna create a very harsh line. So my rule of thumb is I give myself like half a finger of room towards the top of the head. So then I can go in with my trimmer. Damn, my guy was 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 laughing. You know, if, if your barber ain't making you laugh during the cut, then you know you need you need to get a new barber. Nah, I'm just playing guys. But you guys have to love what you do, you know. You guys have to give that good energy so you guys can get that, you know, that those crisp fades, man. It works. And right here, the reason why I left extra room when I went in with the shaver was for this step in particular we flip our trimmer on its other side which in this position our trimmer is way sharper than when we use it on the on its other side so this just helps the transition from the bald to the stubble so it goes from bald to stubble to hair length and right here we're gonna set our first guideline one finger thick with our lever open this creates the, the 0.5 the half so we're gonna give ourselves one finger of room and we're just gonna flow across the whole head and make sure that all the hair is taken down and nice and proportional to the first guideline so the first guideline gives you the foundation of your whole fade so you have to make sure that you follow every single guideline according to the first guideline that you set in the beginning of the haircut so every single guideline is going to flow in that direction and if i do have inconsistencies of my in in my fade game it's going to be because i didn't set a consistent guideline so take this step very seriously and go through your guideline multiple times so i'm gonna give you guys another gem this is just gonna make your job a lot easier when it comes to blending out that zero line that every barber struggles with. I struggle with it sometimes when I don't go through the process of this that I'm doing in this system. I'm using an Andis wireless that is not zero gap. I call these a, the soft pair of trimmers and you just wanna baby tap the beginning of the guideline that we set and it's gonna smudge the line a little bit but all you guys got to do is literally just have a trimmer that's not zero gap, that's not modified. Zero gap just means that you move both blades, you detach them, and you put them closer so they're sharper. So this is not, they're not modified. So it just makes it easier for me to go in on the next step to blend out that line with my magic clip. Just going through these detailing steps is gonna make your job a lot easier. And how we blend this line out, it's called the middle open close method. We wanna put our lever in the middle, attack the guideline in the middle, open the lever a little bit, go a tiny bit higher, open the whole thing until it's fully open and you hit everything. And then you close it and hit the beginning of the guideline. So one more time, put the lever in the middle, hit the guideline in the middle, open it a little bit, go a tiny bit higher into the guideline, open it all the way through, hit the whole guideline through, close the lever, hit the beginning of the guideline, open it again midway through, hit it in the middle again, and keep opening and opening until your guideline is completely blended. 
So just foundation wise, just knowing the principles of fading, which is the middle open close method is not enough. You guys still have to go and execute. So before I start the fading process, I just run through the guideline again one more time. I open the lever and I make sure that every single strain of hair is taken down perfectly because any inconsistency, any dark spots in your fade is going to affect your blending process. So after that, we're going to identify the middle part of the guideline. I put my comb there just so you guys see that's the middle part. We don't want to go any higher than that. So a good tip now too is using the corners of our clipper. We are fading. So this is a different, a different step in terms of how we use our clipper. We're not using the full blade. We want to stretch the skin out with the other hand if our client does have, you know, if the, the blade is getting stuck to his head because my my blades are pretty sharp so it tends to get stuck in the client's head and it just helps the fading process when you stretch the skin out because you get to really dig deep into the fade and it just makes it run a lot smoother and faster and you guys are seeing right there that it's are it's already blending out and then i'm going to open it a tiny bit and go a tiny bit higher into the fade so two quick gems for you guys you guys have to keep consistency in your strokes when you guys are moving your clipper and the force that you guys use when you guys are blending and also learning how to fade in zones of the head so you won't get lost in your steps of your middle open close method and after blending out the line you guys can see how crisp this is but you know we want to take our work to the next level we don't want just average work we want our face to be extra blurry so i go in with my clipper my babyless gold fx that are not zero gapped these are my soft pairs of trimmers and i'm just going in and redefining the fade again so you know you guys have to take your work serious detailing is what's going to take your work to the next level and it's what's going to allow you to charge more and it's what's going to allow you you know for your face to be popping on the gram for people to want to come and travel and you know go out of their way to come get serviced by you and the reason why i like using my soft pairs of trimmers is because it's going to allow me to not make that many mistakes and i can just do the same steps that i did with the magic clip and right here we're going to grab the one guard with the lever open which this creates the one and a half and we're gonna do the same thing. I put my finger there so you guys can see that it's one finger thick and it's gonna be proportional to the first guideline that we set. I'm gonna drill this on your guys' head. Consistent guidelines, it's what's gonna allow you to have a consistent fade. Even if your fades aren't as great in the beginning, if you keep that in mind, if you, if you guys just keep working on your system, on your consistency of your system, you guys will get better way faster. Exponential growth is better than linear growth. You guys have to keep that in mind. Take these gems and apply them to your work. So another detailing step right here guys, you guys do remember that we set a guideline with the lever open and this is our soft pairs of trimmers like I told you guys before and we're just going to baby tap the beginning of that line just to give ourselves a nice leveled guideline. You guys want to make sure that every single time you go from guideline to guideline, you make sure that the guideline before that is completely blended. So after just running through those steps we want to go closed to open so now we're going to do a different method we're going to start with the closed baby tap the beginning of the line go a tiny bit higher into the fade go and open up the lever keep going up higher and higher and keep opening up the lever until it's fully open so you know this in this step it's not going to fully blend out that line but it's going to soften it for the next step when we use our 0.5 guard The beauty of constantly going and just detailing your work after every single guideline is this right here. You guys can see that I've ran through the one guard and it's almost completely blended without even having to use our 0.5 guard. So that's your goal guys, to be able to go from step by step and not being, you know, not having to work harder. This is about working, you know, smarter and doing less to get a better result and right here we're going to do the closed to open method 
we only have that much room to work with i put my finger because we're not going any higher than that we don't want to take this step all the way to the top we only have about half a finger to three quarters of a finger of room to work with so it's really important for you guys to go step by step step by step and you guys aren't going all the way high i'm working from the temple of the head towards the ear and I'm working back and forth back and forth doing the same method and staying consistent with my workflow so I can guarantee that I'm gonna blend out that line and then now I can work on the back side of the head and use the, the corners of my clipper and stay consistent with my just just stay consistent with the way that I'm moving my clipper you guys see after every single time that I open up the lever or I mean I close it open or close it whatever I'm going in the same motion, in the same motion, using the left corner, and then I go back to the same side until I fully open it and I go a tiny bit higher. So that's the key right there, guys. Just staying super consistent in the way that you move and you apply pressure with your with your clipper. After blending out that line, guys, we're gonna grab our three guard and close the lever and do the close the open method right here. I know this that this step might be a little confusing but we're gonna go from the three guard to the four guard to completely blend out that top of the crown towards the parietal ridge area this is probably the most important part of I guess you can say the blurriness of the fade because if you guys can keep this part nice and dark and you guys can see I'm going in, in different directions in the back of the head because the hair grows in different directions in the back of the head so you have to make sure that you adjust your clipper and now we're gonna put our four guard open up the lever and flick everything out so the reason why I like starting with it open is because this is the last guard that I'm gonna use to finalize my fade so I'm gonna go from the four and a half to the four guard we close the lever like i did right there go a tiny bit lower and then now we're just going to work our way all the way down again and go from the four guard to the three guard and then to the two guard to blend out this line right here i'm going to skip a step of the three guard and i'm going to go straight in with the two guard and do the close to open method like i've mentioned before like i've showed you guys before you guys know what to do attack that line and you have one finger of room to work with we close the lever and we open it little by little as we go higher into the fade. This is gonna be almost the last step, guys. This is a 1.5 blending guard. So you guys can see how we left this guard for the last step. We used the four guard, the three guard, the two guard, and all the other guards in this whole fade. And what we're gonna do here is that line that we did the close to open method with the two guard, we're still attacking that line. So we're gonna do the same thing here guys, closed to open. You guys have one finger of room to work with, but this step gets a lot more trickier because you guys have to stay patient and consistent and you guys just have to keep training your eyes to see dark spots, training your eyes to really see the inconsistencies of your fade so you guys can go ahead and blend those things out using lever play methods and the lever methods that I've mentioned in this whole tutorial. We just completed the rough draft of our fade after completing every single step right here. We're using some holding spray. We're gonna comb down his hairline and we're gonna do a rough draft pass on the hairline. I call it a rough draft because you just wanna run through it really quick. Just be very precise though. When I say quick, it just means just to be precise and be efficient and just do one side of the hairline do the corners and then connect it on the other side and this is just the rough draft so then we can go in and detail like i always tell you guys detailing is going to take your work to the next level the way we detail this is really quick is we want to comb down again the hair the hair on top he has an eight guard on top he cut it himself and he came in with the shorter hairline but it's all good you know we we, we just want to make sure we give our client the best look for them possible. We put a comb in the middle of the head. You guys see the inconsistency in the right side. And that's just my tip for you guys. Put a straight comb down towards the middle of his forehead so you can see the inconsistencies of your work and you can go in and detail. And here for his alopecia, I tried something new. I had adhesive because I've done hair units before and I just wanted to just you know mess around a little bit you guys have to be experimental sometimes and i just put in a little bit of adhesive and i went in and i grabbed some some uh, fake hair or whatever to try to plug it in but it didn't work that well 
it some hairs stayed in and it just allowed for a, a, a quick blend but it wasn't the best possible look so i just went in and threw some hair fibers and um the glue is gonna allow it for it to stay past past uh maybe a couple days i'm not sure how long it's gonna last them so i got confirmation from my guy that he went on a date and his you know his date was digging his cut she said it looked fresh and fly you know so i did my job and right here going in and detailing the last steps just throwing in those last detailing steps getting rid of every single hair so you that's just as blurry as possible this is the before my guy was looking rough and dusty and this is the after an eight guard on top with a blurry mid fade every step that i mentioned in this tutorial nothing was left out every single tip and trick that i use in my book was described in this full tutorial guys if you guys want to take your work to the next level make sure you guys subscribe to my channel hit that like let me know down below in the comment section what i can do better for you guys or what content you guys want to see you guys see the nice crispy hairline guys this is it i appreciate you guys for tuning into my channel peace